Okay class, hi and welcome. Welcome to the online video today. Let's review what we learned last week. So in last week, we watched two videos. Who was the teacher? What was his name? Do you remember? Yes, Bob the Canadian. His name was Bob the Canadian and I think he did a very good job. He's a very good English teacher. His pronunciation is very good. Great. So Bob the Canadian, where is he from? He is from Canada. But what is his nationality? Nationality. His nationality is Canadian. Remember, nationality is the country where someone is from, but as an adjective. So my nationality is American. Your nationality is Korean. A person from China, their nationality is Chinese, and so on. So nationality. If you travel to a different country, people might ask you, what is your nationality? And you can say Korean. Okay, so Bob the Canadian, his nationality is Canadian, yes. In the videos, in the two videos, where did we go with Bob? We went to four casual dining and fast food restaurants, and we also went to a grocery store and supermarket. Let's quickly review last week's homework. So in video one, I had you write down phrases we learned in class to order food. Below these phrases, I wanted you to write down similar phrases. Because these are phrases we learned in class, but there are many phrases that people will use, uh, similar phrases, when you are ordering food. So for example, I taught you, hi, may I take your order? And in the video, we heard, hi, how can I help you? Also, anything else? We learned this in class. Anything else? And in the video, a empl an employee said, that's everything? So good job listening closely to similar phrases. Similar phrases. I'm very interested in the second part of the homework. What were the five sections at the grocery store that Bob went to? Did you get these correct? The five sections are number one, produce section, number two, the deli, and the deli is a part of the meat section. Number three, bakery section, number four, dairy section, and number five, the frozen food section. So for homework, we talked about ingredients for bulgogi. And where would you find the beef for the bulgogi? Did you write down the deli section? One onion and one carrot can be found in the produce section. So good job writing down these ingredients and where you can find them in a grocery store. But some ingredients for bulgogi, like maybe soy sauce, Bob the Canadian did not mention these sections. So in his video, Bob mostly talked to you about the outside or the perimeter section of the supermarket. But what is inside these aisles? In my experience, they are similar to what I see in Korean, in Korea. Uh, American supermarkets are similar to Korea supermarkets, but if you are interested, there is this YouTube video of a tour of an American supermarket. This woman, she is English, she's from the UK, and she does a tour of an American supermarket in New York State. This is the link you can find the link in the YouTube video description box below. So if you want to see a very big supermarket in America, you can watch this video. 
Some vocabulary that's good to know when going to a grocery store is aisle, aisle. The aisle is the shelves and the different shelves in the supermarket. I will show you a picture. In each aisle, there will be a number and it will say like aisle two, aisle three, and it will list what foods are in that aisle. And what is the checkout? The checkout is where you pay, is where you pay at the grocery store. Okay, so remember aisle and checkout. These are aisles. These are aisles. Maybe this would be aisle one. This would be aisle two. This would be aisle three, for example. This is the checkout, the checkout at a supermarket or grocery store. Now, what are these called? There are four here. One, two, three, four. These are called shelves. So if you have one, it's a shelf, and two or more are shelves. So one shelf has Lay's potato chips. Three shelves have cereal. So this is a good word to know as well, shelf. And do you know what the computer is called at the checkout? How about this? What is the name for this? This is called the register, the register. So someone might tell you, please pay at the register. Please go to the register. And they want you to go to the checkout section. But the register is specifically this computer. And this, of course, is called a shopping cart. In the UK, they're called trolleys, which I think is cute. And sometimes people call them buggies as well. But cart is probably the most common. Good. So these are some vocabulary that's good to know when you go to the grocery store. So this is a pretty standard map of a grocery store. The green, of course, is the produce section. You see the bakery section, deli, meat, dairy. But let's say you are looking for, what is this? Apple juice, yes. And you don't know where to find it. You don't see it. What can you ask someone to help you find an item or food that you are looking for? Here is a good phrase to know. Where can I find blank? Where can I find blank? You can walk up to an, an employee and ask them, where can I find apple juice? Now they might respond, for example, it's down aisle five. It's down aisle five. Now down means, you know, down, oh, sorry. Down means down, but in this common phrase, they just mean you can find it in aisle five. Apple juice is in aisle five, but in English, we commonly use the word down, but I don't really know why. Also, you might hear, I don't see it on the shelf. Let me look in the back. In the back is a very common phrase that you can hear in English. And in the back means the location that customers do not go. It's the extra storage in a non-public area of a store. So if someone says to you, let me look in the back, they are going to look in storage and see if they have what you need. Okay, good. So here is the map again. I added numbers to pretend that these are aisles. Okay, so this is aisle two. This is aisle three. This is aisle five. So I have an activity for us. Let's cook a pepperoni pizza with onions. But first we must buy the, the ingredients. So what five ingredients do we need? 
please pause the video now and write down the ingredients. Pause the video. What five ingredients do we need? Okay, good. Did you write down the ingredients? Here is my list of ingredients. We need pizza dough or pizza bread. Now in America, you can buy pizza dough uh, frozen. So let's use frozen pizza dough. Of course, we need an onion. We need pizza sauce. Now pizza sauce, you can buy in jars, and that's this. It's also known as marinara sauce. Marinara, marinara sauce, good. So pizza sauce, we will buy in a jar. We need cheese, mozzarella cheese, shredded mozzarella cheese, and of course, finally, we need pepperoni for our pizza. Good. So looking at this map, where do we go to buy these ingredients? Let's play a game. Let's pretend you are sick, <laughs> so you tell your friend where to go in the grocery store to buy ingredients for our pizza. So we're going to tell our friend where to go in the grocery store to buy these ingredients. First, we need to look at where these ingredients are. So of course, where would you find frozen pizza dough? We would find it in the frozen food section. An onion is going to be in the produce section. Pizza sauce in a jar. Hmm, I think either number one in condiments or maybe number three in canned and packaged food. So it's in either aisle one or three. Let's use one. Mozzarella cheese will be in the what section? the dairy section, yes. And finally, you can buy pepperoni in the deli section. So now that we know where the food is located, let's help our friend find the ingredients in the store. Now, when you give instructions, it's very helpful to use transition words. So let's also focus on using these transition words. The transition words are in bold. This helps people follow what you are saying. Now you can pause the video and let's fill out these instructions for your friend. You can write down these instructions for your friend. This is the entrance, so your friend will walk in here, okay? What is the first section that they come to? The produce section. What do they need to buy in the produce section? They need to buy an onion. So, the instructions for your friend can begin. First, go to the produce section to buy an onion. Very good. Then next, they can go to the what? Deli section to buy a bag of pepperoni. Good. Then they can go to aisle maybe number one to buy a jar of what? A jar of pizza sauce. Then go over to the what section? Shredded what? Mozzarella cheese, yes. Then go over to the dairy section and grab some shredded mozzarella cheese. You can finish this by yourself. Pause the video and fill out these instructions. Okay, let's go over these answers. This is the completed instructions for your friend. First, go to the produce section to buy an onion. Next, you can go to the deli section to buy a bag of pepperoni. After that, 
walk to aisle one to buy a jar of pizza sauce. Then go over to the dairy section and grab shredded mozzarella cheese. Don't forget to walk to the frozen food section to buy pizza dough. Finally, walk to a register and check out. That's all. Good, good. So these transitional phrases, first, next you can, after that, then go over to the, don't forget, and finally. These are very helpful when you are explaining yourself. You can use them when giving instructions, like writing a recipe. I'm curious, how many transitional phrases do you know? For self-study, please write a list of transitions. How many of these transitional phrases do you know? They are very, very helpful to explain yourself so there is not confusion. So thank you so much for joining us today, going to a grocery store and writing instructions. I think writing instructions are, is very complicated in another language. So practice your list of transition phrases and maybe we will use them later in class, okay? Okay, thank you so much class. I'll see you next time. Bye.